G'day guys, uh, Andrew Dwight here. I'm the Business Development Manager of Pluspec and uh, I just want to explain a few things about how Pluspec can work for companies as far as getting their products specified. So <clears throat> I simply clicked on a wall tool now. Now I can draw over top of a plan or I can actually go in and I can start to draw from scratch. So I'll give you a quick example of drawing from scratch and in a second I'll delete this and I'll go and trace over a plan. What I want to explain is how architects and designers and builders can use Pluspec in their business to be able to see your products and specify your products. So that's a simple house that I've drawn there, nothing too special. And I could quickly put a roof on it uh, and I can you know, do several things with this model very, very quickly. Uh, so essentially, it's a good way to visualize very quickly what's happening. Now, it looks like a pretty picture, but at the end of the day, it's actually a, a 2D drawing and it's actually a bill of quantities associated with what I drew. So if I actually went to my elevation and said, well, we're going to put some windows in here, uh, I can quickly go up to my windows and I can actually go into my windows and start to go down and look at, you know, actual manufacturer's products. So I can go and specify an AWS window. Now, these companies are companies that have had the foresight to innovate uh, and work together with technology that's available now. Not only can I do that, I can put these plans into council, but I can also get a bill of quantities from these plans. So if I did a takeoff from this now, uh, the bricks, which are actual Austral bricks, um, the roofing, the gutter, the fascia, and the window, and every single piece of timber behind the scenes can all come out and be spat out. Okay, so I'm going to go to all, and I can do a bill of quantities here. It's asking me to put in a job address, which gives us more information about the, the job. So. I'm just going to put in a builder's name here. Uh, contact name would be me, Andrew. Company address would be 1234. And job address might be 5678, whatever it is. Uh, and I want to put it in for a concept, but I also might want to go for design, quote, or purchase order. At the moment, it's just a concept because there's nothing special to do. And it's version number one. Go submit. When I click up the top here, I actually get a bill of quantities. Now, it opened up on another screen there, but you'll see that there's several things that I actually was able to quickly uh, get out uh, from that model. So I got the termite barrier, I got the timber framing and length of every single piece of timber that I would need to build that. Uh, even heads over the top of the windows. Uh, if I went to my windows, you'll notice that I have an AWS Vantage Louvre window and there's the size that I drew in there. Now I could write in this particular size if I wanted to, but you'll find that it works quite well. There's capping, there's guttering, there's roofing, there's insulation, you know, Bradford insulation here. Uh, fix out so you know we've got architrave around the one window internal finishes so we've got actual gyprock CSR gyprock tells us the size and so on uh, and there's a lot of information that comes out of these models I'm going to demonstrate to you how I would do this over top of an actual plan okay so what I'm going to do is just go up to file I'm going to import a plan and I can simply drag and drop it like this or I can just simply go open okay now I've got my plan there. Um, now at the moment you can see it's not scaling. It's basically a, a screen capture or a scan of a plan. Okay, so now I need to, to scale that plan. We built in a tool inside of the Pluspec toolbar that allowed us to quickly click on the end of the construction line here and read the measurement, which is 13 meters, 180. I can type in 13 meters, 180 and click enter. And I now have a plan in there. Now for estimating purposes, this is fantastic because if I just wanted to figure out the amount of brickwork that was in this plan, I can simply go back up to my walls, choose the construction method, the height of the wall, uh, the height of the windows, and go submit. And then all I'd need to do now is zoom into the plan. Okay, From default, it draws from the frame of the wall because that's how we would build it. So the logic is built in for construction, which makes it easier for builders to understand how to use. Basically, think of the way that the building is going to get built and go from there. Now I can type in all these measurements as I go, but I think for the purpose of the exercise, I'll just quickly trace over this plan and put some walls in for you, some doors and some windows, and it'll give you a good understanding of how quickly we can not only prepare something for DA, we can also, which is a development application, we can also prepare uh, something for estimate. Okay, so I'm just going to go shift here and I'm going to join the last two dots. Now what it's done is it's drawn those walls, but it also drew the structure. It also drew uh, the internal lining, so my insulation. So from this, what I've just drawn now, I can quantify the amount of insulation. Uh, and everything's got a brand associated with it. So whether it be students that are using Pluspec or architects or builders, 
Brand information is getting shown very early in the process. There's no need for you to, them to send out a set of 2D plans from the architect and for you to actually go there and go and do a takeoff again. It's getting done for you at the early stages of construction. So, so I'm just going to create a roof uh, from walls. Now I can make a roof outside the walls, but I think just for the purpose here, you can see what's going. We can choose the pitch, we can choose the type of roof, so I can choose a concrete tile. I can even choose the color of the tile. So we've got here Bristol roof tiles. And I can go through and choose a different color, and I can simply scroll through and say, okay, well, I think that, that I want this particular tile here. And I can specify the, the type of capping that I want to use and the type, color of gutter, uh, and so on. I can, and there's a brand associated with those as well. So I can go submit. And now I have an actual product from an actual manufacturer. I can quantify that product, but I've also got elevations and plans as well. So I can see very quickly what's going on. Uh, I go to my floor plan. And you can see that I can now go and put in my internal walls if I please. Or I can simply just go roof off and I can start to go and draw my internal walls. Okay. With internal walls, obviously, comes timber, uh, comes uh, the linings. Uh, it can be, you know, different types of products from different manufacturers. So, uh, for instance, with an internal wall, I can use, say, AquaCheck on one side of the wall. It might be a bathroom, and I can use plasterboard on the other side. I don't want termite barrier on internal walls, so I'm going to say none. I'm going to go submit. Now, I won't go and trace all of this plan, but I'll just simply trace a couple of walls. Go here, here, and here. And I'll put a couple of doors in. Okay, and then I'll grab those walls, and I'll go and put some doors in. Everything's happening in three dimensions, so it makes it easy to understand or even to demonstrate to the client exactly what's going to happen. Uh, so I'll put this door in here, and I can type in the size. It looks like it's a 770. Go enter, and I've got a door in there. These things open and close as well, so there's a lot of power going on. Not only are we getting a bill of quantities, I'll go back to all. I'll do a bill of quantities uh, here. And as I said, I opened it another screen. Here's my bill of quantities now, and I can go through and I can still figure out everything that's involved in what I've drawn in there. Notice that we've now got fix out. Uh, we've got uh, right down to hinges and screws. Uh, swinging doors, there's a 770 door. Uh, so there's a lot of information that's getting put across in minutes. So uh, at the moment we were at seven minutes and probably you know, with a bit more time I could have this whole house detailed up and spec'd and, and the bill of quantities sent over to the manufacturer. Okay, so what does this kind of technology mean for you? At the end of the day, uh, it means that whether it be the architect uh, who's drawing in 3D or the builder who's tracing over a plan, they can specify accurately. They can be assured that they're not going to have too much waste and they're actually specifying real products. Therefore, from design of the building through to construction, uh, we can actually have real products. Now, not only are builders and architects using this, we're in schools as well. So 15 and 16 year olds are using this for their assignments at school. Now, not only do they get to actually use it for, for putting in that uh, project, they, can, they also get to see brands as they go. So it becomes subliminal. Uh, they recognize brands at an early, early, early stage, and these people are the future of our construction industry. They specify some are going to be architects, some are going to be builders, and some are going to be engineers. And that's a real benefit. This software is called uh, Plusbec and it's made by RubySketch. We make software solutions for the industry. Uh, we also make several different products and we, we have a library as well where people can grab other products and put them into these models and quantify as they go. We offer a consulting service that will allow you to figure out the best way to introduce your product into the building information modeling world and we offer a solution where we can actually go through your business and help you introduce uh, your products to the industry. Thanks guys, cheers.